Hey YouTube, it's finally warmed up up here in Virginia, in the mountains. It's been below uh, 32 most of the week. Uh, I was going to broach a subject, I don't know, I'm not trying to uh, pick on anybody in particular that's out there on YouTube, but there's an awful lot of uh, guys reviewing free gear uh, that's been sent to them by manufacturers. And I guess the, the premise is, is that, uh, you know, well, they, they should get free stuff because they're taking the time to make the video and this is kind of compensation for their time to make the video. And I, I understand all that reasoning. But the underlying gut feeling I have is that free gear sent to a reviewer by a manufacturer is going to taint that review. And I'm basing this on what I've seen in the technology industry, you know, specifically uh, personal computing. Um, I did a lot of builds back in the day. I watched a lot of reviews. I watched a lot of guys review stuff. And the guys that I would trust the most were the guys that went out and bought the stuff themselves and then reviewed it. Guys that got uh, the hookup with a manufacturer, it doesn't matter what manufacturer, it doesn't matter what the gear is, once they've established a relationship with a manufacturer where they're being given something that's worth a lot of money, really, hundreds of dollars sometimes, thousands of dollars even, um, you got to wonder, are they really going to say what they think and sour that relationship so they don't get any more free gear? Or, are they all, or is everything always going to be great with little caveats? This is really great. I mean, it's a great thing, but, you know, th this could be a little better. This could be a little better, but it's, and overall, it's a great product, blah, blah, blah. That's what I hear a lot from guys that get free gear. I never hear anybody totally dissing the product, you know? Uh, hey, they sent me this thing. It's a total piece of junk. Never buy it. Whoa, what a joke. These guys should get into a different business. You never hear that. So... I have this underlying gut feeling that free gear from manufacturers sent to reviewers taints the review. How do you guys feel about it? That's basically all I had to say about it. That's kind of why I backed off on the whole MyLED.com reviews. And I have been approached by Banggood.com to review stuff. But I never took them up on it. I was approached by Lamptron to uh, review gear. I never took them up on it. Uh, because it, I never wanted to be beholding to anybody. I've done a lot of reviews. I've reviewed a lot of, of a, a pretty good equipment. But it was always equipment I bought myself. It's always gear I bought myself. That way you knew you, what you were getting. You were getting a guy with an impartial view who may be pissed off that he just spent $300 or something and it's not $300 worth of gear. You know what I'm saying? So give me your feedback, guys. Let me hear your comments on the subject. Does free gear taint the review? Hey, thanks for watching. <laughs>